So the Nittany Lions will be kicking things off, moving from right to left. As your screen goes, donning their all. Jack Bonas on it for the moment for Penn State. He just hit it out of bounds, though. Wisconsin starts back with it. That ball took a deflection getting into the middle. Be picked up by Rainbow, footed option. And it will be him into the box towards the back post. That's headed away. There's a scramble for it on the near side. Back into the box, flick header towards the back post. And Morgan Marshall. And he's going to collect that ball up the line. He's running on Bonus. Baldwin chin to the far side. Cut that ball back in, but it's. Ooh, good incisive ball. That ball towards the back post, good first header, and it's a good save from Andrew Cook, and then slow trot over to take the corner kick. And Andrew's on that far side, he was able to Oh, it's a fake corner, and now it's taken quickly into the box, so. Zakemski out to him on Baldwin and on the far side. Wisconsin, the Badgers just kind of feeling out Penn State, that's a great ball into the middle, it's gonna go in. Oh my word, and it's one nil already. Here at Jeffrey Field, Wisconsin, on the cross, it beat everyone, including Andrew Cook, and it nestles its way into the side netting. And Wisconsin has a one-goal lead, courtesy of Noah Glorioso. Well, we were talking about backline communication, and that one just takes a weird hop in between the backline defenders for Penn State and Andrew Cook. And Cook comes out of his goal line trying to make a play on the angle, and it just bounces over to that near side post from our side of things in the broadcast booth and on your screen. Just unfortunate for Penn State and great job by the Badgers to spark something out from really a, a nice attack initially, but not able to get ahead on it. It still results in a goal. And you just take a look at the replay there. It just takes a weird hop over Cook. And you saw some of the midfielders. Glorioso involved in the goal, didn't get the final touch, but made it difficult for Andrew Cook to fully commit to the cross. At Marshall, excuse me, Caden Grabfelder on him. Glorioso, Barlow gets the ball down the line. He's gonna cross that one in. Good ball into the middle. Far side with Baldvinson, Baldvinson. And that ball on the cross won't test and play down this far side, but Morgan Marshall will see it out. Addo has not played this season. As a cross in from Wisconsin, it's a good one into the middle. And it was flicked along by Penn State via Real corner kick, not a fake trick play. It's a good in swinger from him into the middle. Flicked along by Deuda. He's gonna go down the line to Medor. Back to Henderson. First time cross towards the back post, looking for Van Danielson. Excuse me, that was Ben Liston, of fourth. She wanna play in the two most wide areas. As Boltz brings that ball down well, and now Boltz is making a run into the box. He's gonna cross it towards the back post. Back line, despite not getting a ton of work, they've still been locked in tonight for Wisconsin. And the Badgers making a run. That's well done for Morgan Marshall. And yeah, time of possession dominated. And it's been the style of play that has had the most success against Penn State. Is that ball out for a goal kick? It led to the card. He will be the one standing over it. It'll be a right foot from him. Low driven cross. The flick header well over the goal and out for a throw. Excuse me, out for a goal. It'll be an out swinging ball from Henderson. It's a good ball towards the back post. Flicked along by Grabfelder. Van Danielson will play it back into the danger zone. Both hands in the air, it'll be an in-swinger. Towards the front post, good flick header and it's in! Wisconsin gets their second goal of the night, courtesy of the diving or the header from Quintos, and he has Wisconsin's lead doubled. Quintos is third of the season. And it's, like you said, an in-swinger that he is sitting perfectly under, and he elevates. It was really foreshadowed by the previous header being won by the Badgers that gave him this opportunity on the corner. And they come through with another ball, sent into the box high through the air. Quinto's the first one to it. He goes to that far post where Cook was sitting a little bit more to the near side. He's able to beat him to that far post, 2-0 for the Badgers. 2-0 for the Badgers, disaster for Penn State, three minutes and 35 seconds. Heading into the break as we see the replay here, down one goal is something, down two is much worse. Yeah, and it was Quintos going over Ben Medor, Medor not happy. Grab Felder, time and space to turn, but even with that space, can't find much success in that ball too. 10, 
Nine, not entirely eight, sure what Grabfeller seven, was going for there, but six, it didn't work five, out for him. Four, and the goalkeeper three, is just going to two, sit on the ball, one. and that will be how the first half ends. The first half that the Nittany Lions have struggled in and would like to forget. As you can see, head coach Jeff Cook throws his water bottle. One early, try to get this crowd back into it, get some energy. You got some fresh leg, fresher legs, I should say, after the halftime break. So see if that plays into this the wind in their favor. So on the outswinger, it's a great ball into the middle, but it's caught by Hebert. The second leading goal scorer behind Bolts, who now has 10. And that's a good ball from Fleming into the box, flicked along. Dad's to the midfield for breaking out and trying to start something here. That ball clipped towards the back post, towards Medor. Too far for him, out for a goal there for the Nini Lions, besides Abubakar Kamara, the one player on the wall, in the box. Fleming, in swinger, towards the back post. Dadsy rising. Three to the back to the back line, and that's smart play. Just keep playing in possession. That's a great ball into the box from Morgan Marshall, and a big save by Bear. I don't think anybody expected Marshall to hit that ball into the box, and Bear had to come away with a huge save to keep Penn State off the score sheet. Out of bounds for a corner kick. It's high scoring opportunity in the areas. Henderson, out swinging corner kick from him. Bettenhausen rising, actually got a touch on the ball. Not entirely sure if he got the fun. Can we, you know, switch? Can we switch and be more offensive in a 3-5-2 or a 4-3-3? It's tough, it's getting late in the year with only two games left. And I think with 22 minutes. It's actually Feitosa who he took out. And that warranted his second yellow card and subsequent sending off that shot well wide. It was uh, Ben Medor who tried to get it on net. And it's a possession and when they get it, they've just been so tough to take off the ball. Baldwich into Bolts. Bolts, that was really well done from him. One goal for Wisconsin, the difference is both of Wisconsin's shots on goal have gone in. That ball will be claimed by Hebert. Penn State try to stagger the runs a little bit, try to catch Wisconsin off guard. Henderson, he's gonna clip that ball towards the back post and it was just too long for the sliding Penn State player all the way back there, that was Medor. You could probably attribute that to the wind as well as that one just took a season, but that is unconfirmed. Yeah, we get into the three-way tie-breaking scenarios. But can Penn State pull out a miracle? Deuda. Bell. He's gonna cross it into the middle, towards the back post, nearly over the head of eight. Their best players in space. This guy right here, Dean Boltz, who we highlighted in the open, finds his 10th goal of the season, double-digit points. And Dean Boltz, first goal equals the game winner. Dean Bolts, his first goal equals the game winner. Wisconsin has come into Jeffrey Field. They've looked like the home team they controlled through 90 minutes, and they shut out the Nittany Lions on senior day, winning 2-0. Penn State now in a situation, their destiny in other teams' hands. Wisconsin, their destiny firmly in their own hands. As one more win in an all-important match versus Michigan, we'll see them into the...